Tyric Energy is a cathodic protection company. We protect flow lines using the potentials of metal or electrical current. Like any oil patch profession, there are many safety procedures that need to be followed to make a safe working environment. Tyric Energy does not lack on safety. Let's start with the basics. Road hazards, wildlife, terrain, weather and personal protection equipment or PPE. The required PPE for general oil field work is protective fireproof clothing, CSA approved hard hat, steel toed boots, eye protection and hearing protection. A 3 or 4 head monitor is required when working in an H2S or potential O2 and LEL level areas. There is a lot of driving in the oil industry and basic road hazards are always something to pay attention to. Watch for wildlife, potholes, other drivers, ATVs and truckers. All federal and provincial driving laws apply. Be aware of wildlife when on the work site and driving. This includes, but not limited to, gopher holes, badger holes, deer, snakes and etc. Wildlife is always a precaution when moving from well site to well site. Watch for slipping, tripping and falling hazards. Some terrain may be rugged and gopher and badger holes may be hidden in long grass. The specific hazards for cathodic protection is electrical. When working with current, every worker must be aware of when and where current is running and take the necessary precautions when working with current. When working on rectifiers, all personnel must have the required electrical training depending on provincial law. All employees or contractors working for Tyrek Energy are required to have standard safety training, H2S Alive, First Aid Level A, CPR and AED, Transportation of Dangerous Goods, WIMIS, Ground Disturbance Level 2, and any and all orientations for third-party companies or customers. When performing a job, every worker must sign a work hazard assessment and have the appropriate work permit to perform said task. All personnel must be briefed on the task and all safety requirements before starting the work. If there is a drilling rig or hydrovac on site, be aware of overhead hazards such as moving or falling equipment. Also be aware of power lines when moving vehicles and the equipment. All incidents or injuries need to be recorded and reported on appropriately. Even minor injuries need to be documented when documenting an incident, please be sure to get everyone's name that was involved or was present. Be sure to put the date and precise time and location. Describe the injury and or damage and then describe the events leading up to the incident. If the incident is major, be sure the work is stopped immediately. If it is not major, be sure everyone is safe and wait for an investigator to determine if work should be stopped. Once the incident is fully reported, an investigation will take place to determine any faults or mishaps to protect the integrity of the company or personnel. When working alone, be sure to call into your supervisor before leaving for the work site. When the work is completed, inform management that you are leaving the site. If there is no report from the worker, 911 will be called to initiate rescue procedures. Make sure your cell phone is easily accessible so you can report to your supervisor when working alone. It is management's job to ensure that everyone checks in and out before working by themselves. These are the basic safety guidelines Tyrek Energy adheres to. Be sure to review your safety manual and if you are staff, go to the safety meetings each month. Remember to stay aware when working.